Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we look at the Bow Spleef minigame. So this is a really fun and quick paced minigame where you have a bow instead of a shovel and basically you have to make the other players fall through the different platforms and then whoever is left standing is obviously going to win. Now you can make a multi-tiered one like this or you can have a single level, whichever one you want. But apart from that, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So if we do 4 slash BS help, that's going to show us all of the commands. The first thing we want to do is set a global lobby. So if we do BS set G spawn, that is going to set that. And then we want to go ahead and do 4 slash BS create and we're going to call it serve miner. That's going to be our new arena. Once you've done that, we can set the specific lobby for this arena by doing BS set lobby for server miner. There we go. And now what we want to do is actually select the entire arena. So we can do BS wand for this. This is going to give you a stick, which is basically a world edit wand. And we want to left click at the low point, so down here. And then we're going to fly to the top right hand corner and right click. That is going to be the cuboid selected. And we can do BS set bounds for server miner. Now there's a few things left to do. We need to set the spawn for the players. So if we do 4 slash BS set spawn for server miner. And then we want to set the spectator spawn as well. So we can do 4 slash BS set spectator spawn for server miner as well. And then finally we want to set the min and max players. So depending on how big your server is, you can set this to whatever you want. So BS set min players server miner to 1. So I can actually join and show you. And then max players, we're going to set that to 4. Once you're happy with everything, you can do BS finish and then this is going to be server miner. That is going to save it and reload everything. And then we can now join. So I'm going to pop down the sign. We're going to put bow spleef on the top line. We're going to put join on the next line and then server miner on the third line. And it should say it's waiting and turn a different color. And then obviously what we can do is right click to join. And that is going to teleport us to the lobby. We're obviously already there. It says one out of four and it's starting in 15 seconds. I've changed this in the config file. We can see we've got a starting balance. So we could potentially buy um, maybe a particle effect. And as you can see, I bought that and it's in game. And then because I'm the last one alive, um, I have won the game immediately. It's rather difficult to show with only one person. But if there were multiple people, we would shoot at the TNT beneath our feet until one person fell down and there was only one left. And then it would reset the map and you'd be able to go again. Now if you change something in the config file, you can do BS reload and that will reload everything. So that is how it works in game. Let's head over to the config file and see what we can do in there. So here we are in the SMPitnik control panel and as you can see, there's quite a few YML files and then the map folder which saves the arenas you create. Now if we go into something like effects uh, or trails, you can see it lists all the different ones in here that we saw in the GUI, the slot it's in, the price, and then um, the command law, etc. So you could change the price if you really wanted to, but you don't have to. If we go into options, this is where we can customize various things. Scroll down a little bit, you've got stuff like the trails, to disable the shop, save the inventory, etc. We've got the economy, so how much do you get per win, per player death, per participation, and then we've got the countdown, so I changed this to 15 seconds so it starts sooner, the total game length. And then down here we've just got the items, so that is obviously just the shop and then the leaving item, but you could change that if you wanted to. So here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. And then down here we've got all the commands and then the setup. But if you want to download it, head over to the Spigot page, but if you need a server toaster, on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.